G'day, g'day. Welcome to Easy Jeezy Map and Made Breezy. In today's episode, we're going to be looking at QGIS or QGIS. Okay. So this is a different program to what we've previously been shown with ArcGIS Pro. Uh, QGIS is uh, open source. It's completely free. And for many of you, it's big benefit is that it works on Mac. Okay. So, uh, so yeah, so it's got some, it's got some benefits there. So today we're going to look at just installing it, um, installing some plugins and adding some data to QGIS. Okay. Uh, I've got to be quick because I'm ducking off to the dry cleaners, I'll pick up some dirty clothes, but, uh, let's get started. Okay. So first of all, just go to Google type QGIS. Okay. And it's basically going to be the first, uh, Result there, you can see it there. Welcome to the QGIS project, www.qgis.org. And if you go there, basically welcome to this screen there. It's a new version just been released. Okay, uh, you got some details here. You can get involved, get got some documentation, etc. But if you want to download it, just click on the download now button. It downloads for Windows, so you got a standalone uh, versions here, the most stable ones. Um, or actually, it's this one here, but this one, the long term release, most stable. So let's go for that one there. 3.22 but the newest version 3.26 maybe with some bugs still there but uh yeah, but basically probably best choose the most stable version click download that and you can see there you've got other options for mac and linux and things like that okay once it's downloaded install it and you're going to be presented with something like this okay you might just need to click on the new project to get it looking nice and fresh you've got your tools all up the top Okay, and you've got your layers panel over here on the left. If that disappears for some reason, you can just go view, go down to panels and go to layers. Okay, and that works similar to the, the contents pane in ArcGIS Pro. Okay, um, now the first thing you probably want to do when after you install is you want to add uh, some plugins. So click on plugin and we go manage and install plugins. I think one of the key ones is our quick map services. Okay, so you can just type in QMS. Okay, and actually you go into all, and I mean, I've already got it installed in mine, so it probably doesn't really come up like that, but let's see, quick map services, there you go. Click on it, and again, mine's gonna say, it says uninstall, but yours will say install if you haven't already. And that's gonna give you access to some fantastic base maps. Okay, so that's one of the one of the key plugins that I'd recommend, but, you know, throughout these courses and throughout other courses, you might come across other plugins which you need or you really want to. They can help your workflow uh, in QGIS, but you just go into the plugins and go search for them to download. Okay, so once you've got that installed, let's uh, let's add some data. Okay, so to do it, we go up to the layer. Okay, and we go add layer, and you got you can see you've got a bunch of different options here. So the first type we're going to add is the delimited text layer. So this is when your data might come in a, in a CSV file, like a spreadsheet, okay, comma, comma separated values. So let's click on add delimited text layer. Okay, uh, you can see you've got actually those same options just here on the left, but we're already in delimited text. Let's click on these three dots to choose our delimited text layer. So uh, let's go for this one here. Petrolis interviews final v2.csv. Click open. Okay, most of it's going to be sorted out and automatically. So you shouldn't need to play around with this. Geometry definition point coordinates, it should automatically find the field with the longitude and latitude points already in there. If it doesn't, it might come up as no geometry. Okay, in which case it's just the table. It's not going to add the actual locations of the points. Okay. Uh, and we can just say add. Okay, you can check it out down here. You get a little preview there. Okay, let's see, add, and the points should appear behind you. Okay, so there you go, they're all our points here for these interviews. And you can see they're spread out, but obviously there's not really much context there at the moment because we don't have a base map. Okay, luckily we installed that quick map service plugin. Okay, which you can access up here. Okay, uh, remember here you've got manage and install plugins. Now when you install Q, uh, quick map services, these little uh, icons should appear here. Okay, so you can click on Quick Map Services. You've got a few little options to choose from. Uh, best one, if you just go to search. Um, now, some of the good terms it search for, you can search for Esri. 
any of those Arc GIS sort of base maps. You can add those in, they'll, they'll add in there. If you got some more artistic ones, got the stamen type here, and you've got some really cool ones there. Um, but let's go for our open street map. Nice straightforward one. I'm not sure if it comes up as OSM. Maybe it comes up as open street. Yeah, let's have a look for that. It's not coming up for me at the moment, but I know it's over here. Oh, there it is. Okay. Uh, open street map. And you've got a few different types down here. Let's upload it. Should be nice and quick. Doesn't want to play nice with me today, but I know I've got it here. So OSM standard. Okay, let's click on that one there. And there's our, we can close that down now. The internet's been a bit slow. And you can see suddenly we've got some context. So we can zoom in. If you want, you can right click on it. It says zoom to lay, but this actually, this lay is pretty spread out because you've got points all over the country. So that's not really going to help us. Okay, so let's actually get our little zoom and let's zoom in here so around the town of petropolis green's obviously not a good choice okay uh so we can double click on our symbol and let's just do that for this purpose go to symbology boom, boom, boom. let's make it something like that okay there we go so we've added successfully added some data points to our map now your data might not always come in uh this format in delimited text format so let's go add a different type layer, add layer. Let's add a vector layer. So when you've got like points, lines, polygons, etc. Okay. Uh, in this case, let's go for a geo package. Okay. Click on this one here. It comes in one file, open, and let's go add. And there we go. It's this little yellow dot. It's been added right there. That's our CVD. Again, if we want, we can just double click and let's make it a bit bigger so we can see it. But in other guides, you'll be, I'll be showing you how to sort of choose different symbols and things like that. And there we go. There's our CBD from a geo package file, which is a format used by uh, QGIS. Okay. Another really common format you might see is the shape file format from Esri. Okay. Really common. Um, and let's go add a shape file layer. So again, might be a vector layer or a raster layer, it, uh, like an image in this case, it's a vector layer. So let's uh, click over here and let's go, oh, it's in here. I know it's in this one, interviews, shape file there. Okay, um, if you want, you can actually just I'll drop down the type. You can click, go down to Esri shape files, click on that and only the .shp will appear. You want to only be looking for the .shp file anyway, okay? And you click open. If you had it on all files, you just click on the .shp one and say open and then add. There we go. And this is also the, the same interview layer as before. Okay, so it's just on top of the other layer there. Okay, so that's basically how we get started with QGIS, how we uh, install it, how we uh, add some data to it, add some beautiful base maps. And obviously in our other guides, we'll be going through some of the extra functions you can do in much more detail. So hope this helps and I'll see you guys next episode. Ciao.